Welcome back guys. I did a video on this engine here um, when I first had my ute, the HZ. Um, so I did a top dead center video on that. So this is the engine out of that car that I've been working on. Um, and you're gonna see a video now, it's a clip on um, the research I did to find top dead center on this vehicle. And if you don't know what top dead center is, it's all about timing um, an older vehicle without engine management systems and that. Uh, so it's got um, your carby and a distributor, distributor cap here, manifold here. You'll find the firing order for the V8. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy that, guys. Yeah, just a blast from the past, one out of the vault. Um, yeah, subscribe, be really good, really appreciate it like share and uh okay this is my hq bit of a project um basically the distributor was faulty wouldn't start had an auto tech come out auto sparky and said the uh, distributor's gone so replace it um, by doing that you have to find what they call top dead center and top dead center is um basically going to your harmonic balance and with a socket turning it until your mark on your harmonic balance comes around um, and you have to line up with zero degrees now to do that basically take out number one cylinder plug take it completely out and I made up a tube that goes in and it acts like a, um, a vent basically when you turn the crank you get compression once you've got heaps of compression you see your, your mark coming up and the air escapes out it makes a hissing noise once it stops hissing it goes once it's quiet that's basically top dead center it might be slightly off you might have your your mark here just bring it up to zero and that's top dead center put your spark plug back in and your lead back on now, your distributor's in, of course. Your rotor cap, your rotor. That there, basically, which direction is facing is number one spark plug lead, which goes to your, obviously, your number one cylinder. So, once you've um, got that established, inside your cap, you've got a number one. It's a bit hard to see. So your number one lead goes on there. And then, in a clockwise motion, put the rest of your leads on in the firing order. You have to find a, um, a diagram for that. Once that's done, your cap, and this is pretty difficult with one hand, your cap's got to go back on. Sorry about the vision. Leads are all back in. Make sure your leads are all down nice and firm. Get contact, contact. And there's actually a locking nut down the bottom. Sorry, the vision is not really good. Down the bottom, you back that off basically. You'll see it when you're looking for it. So you can then adjust the distributor back and forth. Okay, and a bit of luck, it should fire. Okay, and that's it. It uh, can be quite complicated, it took me quite a while, back and forth, um, different diagrams and videos and whatnot. But uh, yeah, to find number one, a tip I found, because I'm no mechanic, um, your cylinder, cylinders, uh, your heads, one is further forward than the opposite side, and this one's closest to the radiator. 
that means that spark plug number one okay well hopefully this has helped and um, yeah till next time thank you if you want to see more videos guys jump onto my um, youtube channel and there's a playlist you'll find and you can scroll, scroll through i've got about uh, i don't know what it is 1000 videos no nah, there's only about 300 i think there is so yeah if you want to do that all the best guys and uh, thanks for watching it. and if you have subscribed and turn on the notification bell and you'll get uh, updated with new content mm -hmm.